This problem is from the angle practice worksheet. I believe it's question 14. Find the size of all of the numbered angles. So when we look at this, we notice that first of all, it tells us that we have these two parallel lines. So M parallel to N means that line M is parallel to line N. And then we have these diagonal lines here going through which we call transversals. And because the lines are parallel, that tells us alternate interior angles are congruent, corresponding angles are congruent, alternate exterior angles are congruent. And we're going to use all of that, along with the fact that we know vertical angles are congruent. We know that two angles that form a straight line equal 180, their sum. And we know the sum of all the interiors of angles of a triangle are 180. So let's start by looking at our vertical angles that we have next to 45 and 55. So Angle 9 is vertical to angle 55 degrees. So we know that angle 9 is going to equal 55 degrees. And the vertical angle to 45 degrees is angle 12. So we know angle 12 is 45 degrees. So we can label those. And then next, we want to find, um, use, find the alternate interior angles to 45 and 55. So 50, 45 is right here. It's alternate interior angle is going to be this one down here, angle 1. So angle 1 is going to equal 45 degrees. And the alternate interior angle to 55 is angle 6. So that's going to be 55 degrees. So that's all the alternate interior angles I have at the moment. So let's go on to look next at the linear pairs we have. So remember, a linear pair is when they make a straight line. Two angles that are adjacent to each other forming a straight line will have a sum of 180 degrees. So angle 2 is going to be 180 minus 45, which gives me 135, and I wrote that down here in the corner. And then for angle 7, that's going to be 180 minus 55 is going to give me 125. So now I have those linear pairs that I have the angles for. Another one that's going to be quick to find is angle 5. So angle 5 with angle 1 and 55 form a triangle. They're the interior angles of the triangle. So if we know the sum of the interior angles of the triangle are 180 degrees. So if I add up angle 5 plus 45 plus 55, it has to equal 180. So 45 plus 55 is 100. 180 minus 100 gives me 80 degrees. So I've labeled this guy 80 degrees. So the next step is just going back, we have almost all of our angles, and we're just going to go back to this idea that vertical angles are congruent, and we have some more that we can now fill in. So I know that this angle 80 here is going to be the same as angle 11. So angle, oops, angle 11 is going to equal 80 degrees. And then I know that Angle 6 and 10 are vertical angles, so angle 6, oops, sorry, angle 10 is going to equal 55 degrees. It's the same as angle 6. And if I look down here at angle 7, it is a vertical angle with angle 8. So angle 8 is going to be 125 degrees. And then my last one I have, or last two I have here, is angle 2 and 4 are vertical angles. So I'm going to say angle 4 is equal to 135 degrees because it is a vertical angle with angle 2. So angle 4 equals 135 degrees. And the last one I think I have to do here is angle 1 and 3 are vertical angles. So if angle 1 and 3 are vertical angles, that means angle 3 is also going to equal 45 degrees. And now I've labeled all of my angles.